Wonderland, Writing Letters on Floral Paper. Released on 5th February, 2024. The limited edition magazine with 20,000 copies, 10,000 standard editions, and 10,000 editions with cards. Sold out within one second. After a heavy snowfall, we had the opportunity to meet Cheng Yi in Hengdian. The bustling summer has passed, and another fierce storm has come and gone, leaving no trace on him. Work and life continue as usual. Regular exercise and simple meals. As he said, as ordinary as it should be just fulfilling my duties. Behind this steadfast commitment to duty, time seems to record every season in Hengdian. Rain, snow, clouds, and sunshine. When one story ends, another begins, and there are always new stories to tell. Only he and time never stop. As we embark on a new year, let's open this handwritten letter from Cheng Yi and listen to the inner voice of the man in the old story. When you read this letter, seeing the handwriting is like meeting in person. It's been very cold in Hengdian lately, but my life remains very routine. I go to work and return home according to the film crew's schedule, basically filming from morning to night, which gives me a deep sense of satisfaction. My colleagues and I are serious about creating, complementing animation and visuals, building the script and the atmosphere on set is very joyful. During filming, we discuss ideas together and whoever has a good idea will share it so we can perfect the work together. After work, my daily life is quite simple. I prefer bland food and eat simple dishes. I usually eat vegetables, fruits, and boiled meat. A few days ago, the staff told me that there were online comments saying, Cheng Yi's food choices are not very tasty. I wanted to explain a bit. Most of the dishes are actually quite delicious and are mainly healthy. Honestly, I think I'm a rather boring person, not fond of posting updates. I've never posted on WeChat moments, as it's not a habit of mine. In the past, I've been asked about social interactions and perhaps it's because of my relatively dull personality. But in life, I still observe and take notes, and occasionally I share a few things. A few days ago, there was a heavy snowfall in Hengdian, freezing cold, and I even posted a photo on Weibo with the caption, a giant ice cream. My 2023 was as fulfilling and complete as the previous years, and looking back, there's nothing to regret, which is great. To this day, I still remember the joy of watching Mysterious Lotus Casebook with everyone during its airing, seeing the love and support from all sides, which greatly encouraged me. What's most important is that I feel incredibly blessed to see so many people genuinely loving the characters I portray, understanding and analyzing them. When I have free time, I also read your comments and analyses online, finding some suggestions and insights. Everyone is truly talented. Some content is very helpful for my creative process and acting in the future. There are, in fact, many words of thanks that cannot be fully expressed. I vividly recall, some time ago, when I was in Hangzhou, a friend told me that the model of the carriage from Mysterious Lotus Casebook had been shipped and reassembled by a fan and later used in an event. I really wanted to see it, but I didn't have enough time, so I couldn't make it, which was quite a pity. That regret lingered in my heart for a long time, but at the same time, I also felt very warm. Actually, I'm still in a learning phase in my life, and there are many things I haven't fully thought through, but seeing the strength, comfort, and solace that viewers gain from the film and characters is deeply moving. As an actor, it's fortunate to have such deep affection for the characters you create and to be genuinely loved by the audience. When a work is broadcast, the audience's interpretation completes the entire creative process, and their evaluation is also part of the work. Therefore, I feel honored to see everyone drawing energy from my works and characters, gaining comfort, guidance, and reflection, both mentally and spiritually. In reality, while building each character as an actor, a part of my own personality remains within the character. It may be a small part, but it's definitely there. And when the characters leave, when I say goodbye to them, something of those characters stays with me. That's the magic of acting. We nurture each other, the character and I. By the time the show is aired and the audience starts watching and analyzing, they will discover many details that I may not have realized during the performance. This resonance is the result of everyone's collective effort. 
In 2023, the drama South Wind Knows My Mood was broadcast, and the long-awaited character Fu Yunshen finally met everyone. Seeing him on the screen brought back some emotions I had during the filming. Finally, I wish him, the wind is free, and so will he be. Actually, freedom is something each of us desires. Always maintain a strong and joyful heart. Be happy and freely do what you really want to do, and live for the present. Looking back at the end of the year, I clearly feel the fleeting nature of time. I debuted in 2011 and have been working in this industry for over 10 years. The ups and downs over time have somewhat changed my temperament and attitude toward life. Some friends in the media have also asked, how do you feel about the popularity and non-popularity? Honestly, I think that all the sounds and looks directed at me are temporary because when my works are broadcasted, more people will pay attention to me. When there are no works airing, things are relatively quiet. I've gotten used to this process, just taking it as it comes. People's psychology and character will change with the environment. This is also a process of self-completion. But some things never change for me, such as my attitude toward my characters. I am now still the same as I was 10 years ago. I want to sincerely and do my best to fulfill my responsibilities as an actor. No matter what role I take on, once I accept it, I must do my utmost to perform well. Especially when I see the support and love from the audience, it makes me feel more responsible, constantly reflecting on whether I've done well enough. Step by step, I've come this far, gaining some recognition along the way. The care and love everyone has for me is something I deeply cherish. Watching Mysterious Lotus Casebook during the summer break, I discussed a lot with my friends about the drama and some areas that could be improved and enhanced for better results. If the filming schedule hadn't been so rushed, and if I had polished my performance more, perhaps I could have given the audience even more. This profession requires me to continually learn new things and constantly breathe life into my creations. Therefore, I hope to maintain my focus and interest in life, as well as my curiosity to explore. I also want to share a thought with you. In fact, curiosity knows no age. It's not just for children. Whether you're young or grown up, you can still be curious about exploring the outside world. As the saying goes, live and learn. As long as you still want to learn, you can accumulate more rich experiences, both in work and life, and find more meaning.